Larry Krim finished fourth in the Tennessee Democratic primary for U.S. Senate. Since then, he's been fighting to overturn the results, but on Tuesday agreed to drop a federal lawsuit. Today I've written a letter to my attorney asking that he withdraw the lawsuit in favor of our participation in trying to improve uh, the vetting process with the Democratic Party so that this doesn't happen in the future. Krim says the state Democratic Party failed to check the qualifications for Mark Clayton. A day after he won the Democratic primary, Clayton was disavowed by the Democratic Party for alleged ties to an anti-gay hate group. We encourage them to vote for anyone but uh, Mark Clayton. Krim says Clayton didn't meet the minimum voting requirements to qualify as a Democrat, something the party failed to check. I want to see a new leadership direction in the Tennessee Democratic Party according to properly vetting candidates, particularly at the highest level in the state of Tennessee and the United States Senate. While Democratic Party leaders declined an on-camera interview Tuesday, officials tell Fox 17 the party's executive committee will discuss the vetting process for candidates in September. And we understand the hurdles that we have to overcome as a Democratic candidate in the state of Tennessee, but we don't need additional hurdles we have to overcome in, within our own party. And that's what I want to, I will be a part of helping to remedy that. In the meantime, a candidate disavowed by the Democrats will represent their party on the ballot in November. Erica Latham, Fox 17 News.